I know, Rosie, it does. It belies everything we've been told from the start of this pandemic that anyone who is positive or even was in close contact with someone who's positive should isolate for at least 14 days until they ha no longer have the coronavirus. But as we've been talking about for the past few weeks, Rosie, there's, there's a vastly deteriorating situation here in Belgium in terms of number of cases, hospital admissions, ICU admissions and deaths, which are around 48 per day. So as a result, there were, it, this reflects in the public sector where, for example, as we talked about yesterday, there are schools where there are no teachers, no substitute teachers because they're also out sick. And similarly, when you look at hospitals, it's even more concentrated because, of course, doctors and nurses and frontline staff are very much at the forefront of the coronavirus fight. And as you mentioned there, the hospitals are being overwhelmed to the point where some patients are being asked to move to neighbouring countries like the Netherlands and Germany. And those doctors who were asymptomatic, who were positive, but who can still physically work are being asked to do so, even though they're at high risk of contaminating patients and other staff. So it just goes to show you how drastic the situation is here, Rosie. What's been the reaction in the country to this news? Well, as you can imagine, people are pretty shell-shocked. Um, for the past three weeks, there's been additional lockdown measures announced, including one that just came into force yesterday, which closed all sort of social amenities, theatres, cinemas, gyms and so on. And everybody's been asked to work from home. That's compulsory unless it's un, you know, impossible to do. Um, but we've also heard today um, that if things aren't improving in the next couple of days, and it takes a while for these lockdown measures to actually show uh, that they're working, but even if there's no improvement, the next couple of days there could be a, a complete lockdown of the country or at least uh, the parts of Belgium that are seeing the highest number of cases.